Hi, Kate. Hi. Welcome back. Thank you for having me as always. And thank you for being part of our big one year celebration this month. I'm so excited. I can't believe it's been one year. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. So in celebration, um, I love that we're going to be making unicorns today. Yeah. Magic. We're going to make magic. Yes. I'm ready. And friends at home, if you have a piece of paper and either a crayon, marker, pencil, then you'll be ready to make magic too. Yeah. So today we're going to do a unicorn profile. I make a lot of unicorn art. Love it. So that's an original that I've um, made by using cut paper. And then you can see for you Casper Baby Pants fans, I do the Casper Baby Pants album cover art. And so that's our unicorn cover. Wonderful. So I love unicorns and um, we can get started with a profile. Great. Let's do it. Okay. So I'm going to use a purple marker today. Me too. Oh, good. Purple crayon. Purple crayon. Okay. So we're going to start off with two lines. We're going to start off with the neck. And when you look at the neck, it's just two sweeping arcs, almost like you're drawing part of a rainbow. Ah, uh -huh. That's going to be the unicorn neck. Okay. And so we'll do one big one and one that's a little bit shorter. Neck. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the head and we're going to do it in kind of one motion. So it's going to be up a U shape and then another U shape to connect this point to this point. So it looks like this line. So it's going to go up and then down and then down. Yep. And now we're going to put in a little teeny tiny feature that's going to look very, very small, but it's going to have a very big impact. And that is a little line that's the unicorn smile oh so a tiny little line that's jam-packed with magic <laughs> and then we want to let the unicorn breathe so let's give him a little nose and that's just a little c shape that's his nostril and then we're gonna we're gonna do the eye now you kind of want to drop your eye a little bit because we have to leave room for the bangs and so these are your unicorn bangs here, but we're just going to make a simple U shape. And that makes it look like the unicorn is daydreaming or thinking of something pleasant. Ah. Yep. And then I'm going to do some more U shapes. And I'm going to do three. And now I've given my unicorn some bangs. This part we're gonna do, we're gonna do an ear, a horn, and an ear. And okay. we're gonna do it in one motion. Okay. So there's an ear, there's the horn, and there's the ear. Now this ear is on one side of his head and this ear is on the other side of his head. So we're gonna show you that this is the ear that's closest to you so you get to see the inside of his ear there. Okay. And then a unicorn horn is twisted. And so to show that twist, we're gonna put lines in the horn. Like it's time to put the mane on. And unicorn manes are crazy. So I'm gonna put, this is almost like a series of triangles. And this sort of makes it look like the mane is sort of flying around. And you don't have to be exact. You can do all sorts of shapes. I like to kind of go back in and do more little shapes. Oh, yeah. That kind of gives the mane a little bit of definition like that. Okay, now this is the fun part. This is the part where you can just go nuts. Um, you can put in a little bit of detail. So I'm gonna go give my unicorn some long eyelashes. And where is your unicorn? Is your unicorn in a garden? Is your unicorn hanging out in outer space? I'm going to put mine in outer space, but I'm also going to show you how to do a couple different shapes. So um, a lot of us know how to do a traditional star, which is one up, one down, one over, one across, and one down. That's your traditional star. Okay. And then you can also do what I like to call a wonky star. 
Okay. So the wonky star is just, it's not really a perfect shape. It's just a series of triangles. And so it's up and down and up and down and up and down, and down and up and over and over. And then sometimes I'll do, I won't do a five pointed star, but I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, is that seven? And then you can, if you want to make it a super bright star, then you just put little lines out. And that makes it look like it's bursting. Ooh, I love that idea. Yeah. And then another fun way to do a bursty star is just do a series of lines. Okay, that's an X. That's pretty mm -hmm. easy. And then you can put a line through that X and then another line through the X. And you put little dots around it. And then it's like another different bursty type of star. It's so celebratory and magical. Yeah. Then I'm gonna do a planet. I'm just gonna do a circle. I think I'm gonna do Saturn. Okay. So Saturn has rings. So with, and planets, those are circles. So any kind of circle you wanna do is fine. You don't have to do Saturn, but if you do, the telltale sign of Saturn are the rings. And that's just a line that wraps around. And you can put little line marks if you want. I and then kind that. of Oh yeah, that's great. And then a nice way to kind of finish it off is if you want to, I like to do little dots that are kind of like teeny tiny little stars. This is amazing. Yeah. I love it. I love making unicorns. <laughs> And that'll be super fun to color too, because you could do rainbow mane and yeah. you could do all different colored stars. And I'm so going to use all of my crayons on this one. Yeah. Thank you, Kate. This was You're perfect. Welcome. Thank you for being on Sing with Susie. And I can't wait to see you again next time. Thank you. And happy anniversary. Yay, one oh, year. Thank you. Bye. Bye.